one of the major ways to reduce the cost of launching rocket is to ensure that parts of the rocket at least can be reused. And how do you reuse rockets? You reuse it by vertically landing them. So we're joined by ISRO's Launch Vehicle Centre Director, VSC Director, Dr. Nikshan Nair. So you have the uh, approval for a project to explore reusable rockets and vertical landing rockets. Please tell us more. See, for the next generation launch vehicle, NGLV, uh, we need to cut down the cost and reduce the turnaround time. So one possibility is uh, the first stage, which is you know quite massive as well as cost-wise also uh, very high cost part is there. So after its part is after its uh, the, you know job is done, can you uh, the question is can you bring it back, use its own propulsion, diesel rate it, and make it land on a barge or a place so that it can be refurbished and reused. So that is a massive scale technology demonstration. Usually what we do is we demonstrate technology on a scale or a reduced level. So the test work which is developed for the crew escape system, the same test work we will uh, demonstrate, it is a UDMH into a form, but then we need to develop the technology of throttling, that is reduce the thrust by appropriately controlling the liquid oxygen um, fuel and oxygen. And also we need a soft landing system and also the electronics as well as the algorithm to come and land. All these technologies we are planning to demonstrate in the sphere level. So that is called an admire project for which the approval we have got. So the technology development initiatives are initiated. So uh, for this basically you will have to make a rocket that lands vertically, right? It has to come and land yeah. virtually like a stick. So it has to have uh, fins, it has to have landing legs. So will you do this on land? Will you do this at sea? How, how does it work? Yeah, as you said, it can go vertically up and then the same propulsion we can use, we can throttle it and it can come back because it is falling under gravity and then it has to come and uh, land. It can be made to land on a barge or it can be made to land on a land. So this option we are discussing but that is secondary. What is important is develop the restart the engine. So that also we have done a trial. This is how we restart the gas engine and the restart. Second is how it can be throttled to very low level of thrust for that. It can be controlled like a stick, you are balancing, how you can make it, uh, bring it back and then stop that. So these technologies will demonstrate on a test level level. And that will give us confidence and can be easily scaled. So what progress have we made so far and what are the timelines you can broadly tell us? So we have the approval, we have the vehicle configuration ready and uh, the system development agencies are working on the shock attenuation system that is the impact attenuation system and as I said the Vigas engine restart program that is also going on and the throttling program also is going on. So the technologies are getting developed so we need to integrate and then uh, do a system development. So perhaps your idea is that you launch from Sri Harikota and it uh, lands perhaps at some barge in the Bay of Bengal? Yeah, launch from Sri Harikota. It can be even made to land at the launch pad itself. At all depends uh, no, that we need to find this. Or it can go and then uh, land on it. So, uh, prospectively, what kind of uh, cost reduction are we looking at when we are able to do recover the stages like this and reuse them? No, it all depends what is the cost that has flown into that stage. So, you are refurbishing certainly some cost for refurbishing. And then again it is getting back. So, we can use it multiple times, not that two or three, it can be six, seven times. That number of times also will get refined because we get experience. So there will be substantial cost reduction in the cost, I mean, the access to space. That we can offer our own uh, rockets at a reasonable cost to other customers. So, that was Dr. S. Unikrishnan giving us an update on the Admire program where ISRO aims to land rockets vertically, recover them, refurbish them, and even reuse them in a bid to step into the future and also reduce cost drastically. From Satish Dhawan Space Center, Siddharth MP, Beyond World Display.